What's up, y'all? So, heading into town. It's gonna be a little bumpy right here at the beginning, but I gotta head in, get some gas for the lawnmower and whatnot, and then right out to the property. So, stick with me. Got a lot more cleanup to do, so we'll see you on the property. Hey y'all, so welcome back to the property. I made it out here, even though it's a lot later than I wanted it to be, two o'clock in the afternoon. But if you catched Wednesday's video, we saw uh, that I had to go through and, and check all the vehicles. Even though, yeah, I know last minute, hopefully you guys caught it before being last minute, <laughs> go to, to check your coolants and your anti-freeze levels, that way, with this cold arctic blast that's coming through right now because it's by the time you're seeing this this is, i'm releasing this video as you're watching it on friday afternoon and uh at this point we should already be up in yeah. missouri i probably will not have a video for monday and i hear a damn jet can you guys hear that man can't get away from them. No, I, I do know that there's a National Guard base out here. And they're going to fly. So It's far far enough away that it's not right over our heads like it was in Virginia Beach. So, I don't know. What did I say last time on the, the Monday video? That we are cleaning up the driveway. Getting stuff cleaned up. Getting a lot of the grass and stuff cut. And then I can show you back from the Monday's video some of the area right here around the house. So I'll, I'll show you that right now. And then as you're watching that, you can kind of see that some of this stuff needs to still be cleaned up. Some of the tall grass, I'm just gonna go through and try to move some stuff around. And then, uh, yeah, let's get some grass cut and maybe some trash picked up. I'm only gonna be out here for a little bit. I am out here by myself, so I do have some protection on me. And so if you're seeing that in the video, that's that's why. I'm not saying anything's gonna happen, but there are you know bears in the area, there are mountain lions in the area and such, and I'm not trying to be out here by myself and getting trapped by you know some wild animal. I'm not worried about people right now. Well, you're not here to see me chit chat and talk with you guys. If you want that, you go over to our side channel, the Daily Scuttlebutt with IFF. Ivy's Family Factotum, and that's where you'll get all the behind the scenes slash talking slash bean spillage, maybe. But yeah, go check that out. Links at the end of the video, and I could possibly even throw it up here. At least I'll try.
bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoor. Oh, all right. So I got the <laughs> whole front yard done. The whole backyard. Well. About 90% of the backyard done. But you can see it kind of comes up the hill right here. Which a lot of this we'll probably redo. Kind of cut this in a little more. But we'll get a pad and everything established. Nice flat pad to build a new house. The new house is basically kind of the same area that this is here. But it's going to be longer than what is currently here. Um, not by much, but I haven't officially brought out, well, I do have tape measure, but I haven't officially measured it, but if I'm a guessing man, it should be coming, see, I didn't cut this side, pretty close to where there's a fence over here, you can see there's big rocks here, this big cedar that would have to come out, but there's a fence by our fence I suspect it to come to roughly to this point that's what I suspect but once we get that knocked down we'll be able to come out here and get a nice pad put in um, might have to hire someone to do that with a bulldozer just to get it nice and leveled because it would take forever to do it by hand <laughs> and it would definitely take it forever to do it with my buddy's little tractor i mean it could be done don't get me wrong but if i gotta pay someone to at least come in do the initial clearing just to get because it doesn't it's not going to require a lot of work they they'd probably be able to come in and do this in one day um obviously gonna have to work around the well uh because even if it, the house is coming out some because I want to be able to incorporate where the current well is, as long as it's good, as long as it tests out okay, to leave that in the, the build. But it's going to be inside the utility room. So it would actually be inside the house, which is, it's almost like a little room attached to the side of the house. And uh, we haven't showed you guys our, our final plans of what we plan to do, but that's coming. So definitely make sure that you're subscribed Click all those notification bells that we're not missing not a single lick of this journey. Because like I've been saying, buckle up, buttercup. It's getting really real. And we're trying to come out here and do as much as we can every day as much as we can. But it's also holidays and we're about to travel. So <laughs> uh, as I'm recording this, we actually leave tomorrow. But you guys won't be seeing this until later in the week. But I definitely appreciate you guys. Make sure you're thanking a veteran at every chance you get. Not only on Veterans Day. Check out all the links we have down in the description. And, uh, whew, boy, only an hour's worth of work, but I am sweating my cojones off. We'll see y'all next one. Bye-bye now.